Hi, everybody. Lori here from Mama Elephant. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a couple of fun, festive projects to share with you using some of the new October release goodies. Here are just a few of some of the things that I have and some of them I'm going to feature. First up is this adorable new creative cut set. It's called Serenity Ornament. I love how you can create a variety of different looking ornaments with that. And then the Fala Lama. Forget about it. It's llamas for the holidays. And then a great holiday sentiment stamp set. This is called Paolo's Merry Wishes. And then there's also the surprise gifts. I won't be using that one, but I was planning on it, but I just ran out of time. So I'm gonna be making two ornament cards using the Serenity Ornament Creative Cut. So this one here gives you a lot of different ways to create an ornament. You can create that like woodsy background scene. There's just an open shaker. So first I'm die cutting just the white uh, ornament base just out of some hammer mill white cardstock. And then I'm also gonna do one out of a very, very light blue. So I'm creating three different ornament bases and so many different things you can do from here on out. Uh, I'm gonna do one with that woodsy background scene. So I'm die cutting that out of white. And when you lay the white over top of the blue ornament, it gives you that really snowy, subtle um, winter scene. So that's what's gonna go on that blue ornament. And then I took, I found a circle die that matches the size of that woodsy and I'm gonna die cut some acetate. I'm gonna turn it into a shaker. Both of my ornaments are gonna be shakers because shakers are just more fun and everybody loves them, especially for the holidays, but any time of the year. So I die cut the acetate with a circle die, glue in the woodsy scene onto the acetate. Let it dry, put an acrylic block on it to press it down. And then I'm using some of these foam adhesive strips that were perfectly thin enough to go around that border. You gotta love it when the, when the foam adhesive strip is thin enough. For the filler, I'm using some of these snowflake, uh, what it's like snowflake confetti. I believe this is by Pretty Pink Posh, these snowflake sequins. I love that they're clear, kind of iridescent. So there you have a little snowflake snowy shaker. And then I'm gonna add a cute little llama from the Fala Llama. And I'm stamping that with some Copic friendly black ink and I'm gonna color with Copics. So I sped a lot of this up because to me, I don't, actually I do like watching people color with Copics, but when I'm doing it, I feel like it's like watch and paint dry, you know, but I got my marker caps there and you know, I had to do the llama scarf in rainbow order. You just have to, I mean, I actually just bought myself a holiday sweater. I don't know if I've ever really bought a holiday sweater. It's not, it's not like holiday, holiday. It's a green sweater with white kind of trees on it. So I feel like it could be winter, not necessarily just holidays, but I would like, if I saw a rainbow sweater like this one, I'd be putting it on, you know? And if I had a llama, you know, I'd be, and I had, I added a rosy cheek. I added a rosy cheek to the llama, rainbow sweater. Uh, cutting it out with that coordinating creative cut. For the sentiment, I'm using one of the banner greeting dies. This is an older creative cut set, but I love it so much. There's actually a holiday banner die set. I don't have it, but I need it because I love, I just love these word banners. So I just had this one and it said, wishing you joy. And I was happy because I felt like that, you know, goes along with the holiday season. So I did that out of red and put it on a white banner. And then also in the Serenity Ornament Creative Cut, there's some little greenery and an ornament topper, which I did out of some metallic cardstock and two different shades of green, just to add a little foliage, a little bit of foam tape on the back of the llama and on the banner sentiment. And then I'm gonna glue the ornament topper. I believe this is kind of like a um, rose gold. I think it's by Simon's Stamp. It's not, but you know, you could do gold, you could do silver, you could do black. And I'm using Barely Art glue to glue on the little everything, to glue on the little everything. And now this is fun. You could do a lot of different things with an ornament. You know, you could turn it into a tiny little shape card. You could use it as a tag to put on a gift. I'm gonna pop this on an actual card. So it's almost like double duty. You know, it turns into a card, but the recipient, if they wanted to take it off and use it 
as an ornament or a tag. You know what I mean? For the background, I have a panel of light gray cardstock. I took this open heart stamp, which is from the, it's from the Fala Lama, and I'm creating my own little pattern paper. I wanted something subtle, not too competitive, not too busy. I used Morning Frost ink by Ulta New. It's very, very, very light gray. So it's kind of a tone on tone, little subtle heart background. Gluing this down to a white card base, I'm threading a little black and white twine on the top of that ornament. And then I'm just gonna pop it right in the center. And this is so cute. If you attach it with a glue dot, the recipient can easily remove it and use it, you know, later. Just a little side note. Okay, next one's gonna blow your mind. Okay, so this one, I'm not gonna use that winter scene. I'm using that, oh, I call it like a shaker frame. It doesn't have to be a shaker frame, but it makes a nice little frame. I did it on bright poppy red cardstock by Concord 9th. I made another uh, acetate shaker cover with that circle die and I'm gluing the acetate on the back of this poppy red frame. And then while that's drying, I'm gonna stamp a sentiment on the white ornament. And I'm using the new Paolo's Merry Wishes stamp set. There's lots of fun holiday, kind of scripty handwritten sentiments. I used uh, Happy Holidays, stamping that with VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. And then we're gonna, I decided for this one, we're gonna do color. We're gonna do lots of sequins and colors and just make it fun and festive. Using those same um, foam adhesive strips, which fit perfectly behind that thick red frame. So I believe these are by Pretty Pink Posh. I did a mixture of red, it's like a corally red, yellow, green, and a little aqua blue. Just a little, not too much, because I don't want it to cover up the happy holidays but I wanna bring the party, you know what I mean? Okay, popping that down, and you got yourself a little shaker ornament. Now, here's where I blow your mind. I printed a picture of Hank the Tank, and I take that ornament die, I'm die cutting it, okay? I'm making a little peekaboo surprise photo. Now you could do this with, you know, you know how a lot of people send photo holiday cards? Well, here's a little creative take on it, uh, so I'm gluing the photo onto that extra white ornament to make it nice and sturdy, let that dry, and then I went ahead and die cut all those little extra doodads from the Serenity Ornament Creative Cut, the ornament topper. Did that out of this, um, it's kind of like a rose gold metallic on both of the ornaments, and then also a little bit of greenery. I just think the greenery is like the icing on the cake. By the way, I forgot to mention, with the greenery, I used some red enamel dots in the center to make like little berries, almost like mistletoe. So I felt like it needed something in the center, so I just pulled out some enamel dots. Again, threading these two ornaments together, so the photo one is behind, and it's just kind of like free hanging there, but it's a little bit of a peekaboo, little peekaboo surprise. So you could customize this with your pet photo or family photo or grandchildren photo, you know. Here's where I add the enamel dots. These are Concord Ninth Poppy enamel dots. Just popping those on right in the center. And then I also have a little pattern paper. This is also by Concord Ninth. And um, just taping that down for a little pattern in the background. Just gives a little papau. And then now to glue this down, I'll show you. I use one glue dot. That way it's adhered, but it's not so strong that the recipient can easily remove it without, you know, tearing it carefully. And then they could use that and keep it, you know, hang it on the fridge, put it on their nightstand, you know, however, because they want to just keep looking at Hank, you know, it's true. And this is a fun little way to make a holiday photo card. So there you have it, two projects using some of the new October release with Mama Elephant featuring the Serenity Ornaments. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.